try to refrain from saying um a lot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I filmed, but you know, as you get farther along in your pregnancy and um, for you working prego mamas out there, you definitely know you get really, really tired and it's really hard to get yourself out of bed, get ready, and film a video. But um, I got a spread of energy today, so this is what we're doing. So the video today I have planned is basically a pregnancy must-haves video. Um, basically just the, the things that I thought were crucial during my pregnancy and that helps me get through it. As of right now, I am 35 weeks pregnant, so I am in the home stretch and I definitely have experience <laughs> with this pregnancy to say, I think you need this, I think you need that. With that said, every pregnancy is different, every woman is different, and every symptom is different. So some of these items may not be something you need or want or work for you, but for those mamas who were like me, I hope some of this stuff can help. So if you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep on watching. Currently where I'm filming, I am in my bedroom, which is also the baby's area. I'm leaning on her crib right now. And this isn't supposed to be like a backdrop, a wonky backdrop. We actually have glass double doors into our bedroom. And just for privacy, we've always had these up since we've moved here. So that's what that is. Just letting you know. Some of these items in this video aren't the normal pregnancy recommendations. These are kind of things that I highly recommend for the things you wouldn't think about. But at the end of this video, the last two things are the things I cannot live without in this pregnancy. And I know neither of you women can live without in this pregnancy. This is for every pregnancy. You all need these last two items. So if any of these items are kind of funky for you, fast forward to the end and at least watch the last two. Right when you find out you're pregnant, the most important crucial thing that you absolutely need for your pregnancy is a good prenatal vitamin. I went with the Nature Made Prenatal Multivitamin plus DHA. Not all prenatals have DHA and DHA can help support fetal brain and eye development. So just in case, I wanted to get that extra um, little something in there. But this is the like extreme bottle. I had bought the little bottles that you buy at the store. They're, I believe, like $11, but you go through them really fast. So um, when I was at Sam's Club, I saw this, and my husband got it for me, and um, it's lasted me. I mean, there's 150 of these in here, and I probably only have maybe like... 10 days left so it's lasted me that long months long it's definitely better to get it in bulk like this you I pay more up front but you pay less in the long run if that makes sense so i definitely recommend this brand i love it you want to see how big they are i know not all prenatals are the same these are pretty big pills so um that's the size of them right there pretty good size but it's not hard to put down you know as you know with pregnancy your stomach grows at rapid rates and you do want to help prevent that and help moisturize your skin as much as possible. So I do recommend a good body oil and a body butter. I have heard that rosehip oil is really good, but I just went ahead and bought this Body Boost Stretch Mark Oil. It's in lavender vanilla and it has jojoba, safflower, grapeseed, and vitamin E. And it's for prevention and repair of stretch marks. I bought this at Bye Bye Baby and I believe it was like $15.00. I do like it. I'm not sure if this has helped prevent stretch marks, but it has moisturized my skin. And when I wake up in the morning, I still feel the residue of it on my belly. And so I know it really sticks in there. The other thing I got was this body butter by the same company. And this one is collagen and elastic firming in the same scent. It has go to cola, jojoba oil, and shea butter. Smells really, really good. It's a big tub, and I believe it was about the same price. So these together was about $30. So what I do is I go ahead and put on this oil, rub it into my skin and my stretch mark areas, also your breasts, your thighs. Just remember anything that kind of is going to grow with your pregnancy. And then once that's kind of been absorbed into my skin, I go ahead and go in with the body butter, rub it all over the same exact places, put back on my pajamas, and go to bed. Apparently stretch marks are genetic and so if you're bound to get them, you're bound to get them and nothing will prevent them. But if you're a firm believer in preventing them and trying to help lighten them or do whatever you can, I recommend a good oil and body butter. Now this won't apply to every woman, but for me with this pregnancy, my skin has gotten so incredibly dry 
And with moisturizers, you really need to be careful with the kind that you use because your skin is absorbing it. You are taking it in. So you want to make sure you know what's in there and make sure it's nothing that could be harmful to your baby. So definitely do your research before you just go out and buy moisturizers and definitely pause on using your moisturizers that you already have at home when you find out you're pregnant. I went ahead and purchased the Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Facial Moisturizer. I wouldn't say this is extremely hydrating, but it does give a nice little boost to my skin when I'm feeling dry. It is cruelty free and organic, so it's not going to harm your sweet baby. The smell isn't the best. It's not a horrible smell, but it's a little weird but it doesn't bother me that much. But I bought this one, I believe I got it at Walmart and I think it was like $10. I think you can find this also at Target too. So this is a very odd throw in the mix and this is something I don't normally see in these videos, but I think this is crucial for me. Being pregnant, your body is going to produce a lot of cervical fluid. I know this is too much information, but if you're watching this video, you're probably pregnant trying to get pregnant or your wife is pregnant if you are a guy. So this is normal, this is natural, just deal with it. But your body will produce a lot of cervical fluid and as a woman, it doesn't feel good. And you know that if you're a woman, it just walking around feeling that, yeah. It basically to me sometimes feels like my water broke. And obviously there is no way to prevent this. This is just your body and it's natural. You can get panty liners. I never did that. I always wanted to do that, but I, I recommend doing that actually. Getting yourself some panty liners um, to kind of keep that area in your underwear clean. But for the most part, I like try to stay clean in that area because of there's so much going on. So I went ahead and got myself the Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin. Um, it's clinically tested. It's for pH balance basically in that area. So men, if you are watching this and you see this in your shower, don't use this. This is not a body wash. <laughs> but um, yeah, I use this in the shower every day and I just, it just makes me feel good to just take extra care down there because of everything going on. And not only that, but I do carry these Summer's Eve wipes. They're cleansing cloths for on the go. I just have them in my purse for um, during those moments when, you know, the excretion happens and I feel a little gross out in public and you know, I'm not going to be home for hours, kind of like work, these do come in handy. So I do recommend the Summer's Eve Wash and the On The Go Wipes. Another thing I don't see very often on these videos would be a bra extenders. You could just buy a new bra, but honestly I'm all for saving money putting it towards the baby, so why not? Um, my bra started getting really tight about two or three months ago. And it's not necessarily that my breasts are growing because I honestly don't feel like they grew that much, but I think it's just because your belly is growing and it's like putting pressure up on your breasts. So it's starting to get tight in that area. So I went out and I bought bra extenders. This was $5.94 for three of them. It comes with a black one, a nude one, and a white one. This was a three hook. I don't know why I bought a three hook. I don't have three hook bras. I wasn't thinking. I was just out of breath. I was lightheaded because of my bra. I needed a bra extender and this is the first one I saw and I grabbed it and threw it in the cart. But it does work and um, it's honestly a lifesaver. Like look how much extra room that gives you. Just helps you breathe a little bit and feel a little bit more comfortable if you don't want to buy a new bra. If you want to buy a new bra, go ahead and do that. But if you want to save some extra bucks, um, definitely get yourself some of these. Another thing recommended but not every woman is going to need is Tums. The farther you get along in your pregnancy, the more the heartburn kicks in. And it is like breathing fire for me. Um, I know a lot of people think it has a lot to do with your baby having hair. I have a very strong suspicion that our daughter will have a head full of hair because I was born with a head full of hair and so was my husband. So I'm pretty sure she will. If she comes out bald, I will be shook. But I don't really think that that has a factor on heartburn. I mean, I know it's like an old tale that it does, but you never know. But they also say that the bigger your uterus comes, the more, the bigger your uterus comes. The bigger your uterus gets, it puts more pressure on all your organs and your stomach and that has a lot to do with the heartburn. So Tums apparently is safe and it has saved my life. I have this on my bedside because I tend to get heartburn a lot at night 
and I have this small travel pack in my purse so that anytime I get it on the go I could take it it helps me at work I just absolutely recommend getting yourself Tums I got the 20% more because I will be using them as you get farther along in your pregnancy sleep is going to become very difficult for you um, I really honestly didn't have that much issue with sleep up until a couple weeks ago now it's starting to get uncomfortable um, just because maybe the weight of my belly when I lay on my side it's still like my belly still has that little gap in between and it it's very uncomfortable and so sometimes it's hard to sleep not only that but you have a baby inside you that's constantly moving it's gonna keep you up so I got myself some of these Bath and Body Works aromatherapy pillow mist I highly recommend these I just I love these I love just smelling the aromatherapy in my pillow and it just helps me go to sleep I don't think it helps me stay asleep but it helps me get to sleep a little quicker I do have the sleep and I have the stress relief because being pregnant is stressful stressing about all the things you need to get all the things you need to do it's stressful so um, and sometimes you just need sleep <laughs> so uh, this one is lavender and cedarwood, and this one is eucalyptus spearmint. Um, probably my favorite aromatherapy scent at Bath & Body Works. I got these when they were having a sale. Um, they were, I think, like $5 each, and they're normally $13.50. I just spray a little bit on my pillow before bed, and when I lay down, it's just so calming and relaxing. I tend to fall asleep pretty quickly. So um, another thing that's not normally in these pregnancy videos, but it has been very helpful for me in this pregnancy. Okay, we are down to the last two most important items that I can possibly recommend to you. <sighs> are you ready? Here we go. So one of the most important pregnancy items I can recommend is a pregnancy pillow. I know what you're thinking. Do I really need one of those? Like I just have pillows. You need one, trust me, but you need to get the right one. And I strongly, strongly believe and recommend the one that I have. It is this big old gray one. Let me see. It's like a C shape. I'm just gonna hang out with it really quick. This one is the Pharmadoc or Farmidoc um, jersey cover pregnancy pillow. It is C shaped. Um, my husband bought this for me on Amazon when I was pretty early in my pregnancy. I think I was only like three years or four months pregnant and though I didn't need it then oh, this pillow is so comfortable it isn't too soft it isn't too firm it doesn't go soft after using it every single night um, this cover is so incredibly soft it does come off so you can wash it which is probably something I need to do but um, basically just lay it on your bed and you can either snuggle with this part of it that's completely closed off and just uh, love it or you can lay in the ends of it where you put your head here facing this way and then your legs will be ah! <laughs> and then your legs oh my gosh this is so ridiculous and then your legs will be in here um ah! I just love this pillow I love this pillow and honestly my husband loves it too he snuggles with it if I'm facing on the outer part like the C part where that's open he'll be snuggling with the back part that's just laid out so it's like it works for everybody in this situation and I probably won't get rid of it after I'm done being pregnant um, I'm sure my husband won't mind but it takes from the cuddles with your husband but I promise you this is more comfortable than your husband I definitely recommend this um, my husband bought this one for me on Amazon it was $49.50 like $50 I'll definitely have it linked down below and they have a couple colors but it's good for everything like you can sit it up like this and you can kind of lean back in it it's amazing being farther along in my pregnancy though it is um, it's still helpful but I do have to get a little pillow like this this just came with one of our comforter sets and I kind of just shove this underneath my belly while I'm cuddling this and it helps me sleep so much better because my belly is so big now but I absolutely love this pillow and you need to get this pillow 
All right, and last but certainly not least, which I think is the most important thing any pregnant woman needs is this belly band right here. <sighs> One of my coworkers gave this to me and I will love her for the rest of my life because of it. If none of this stuff resonated with you, just promise me you'll get this. This is $17 at Target and it doesn't, it's basically a support band, but as you get farther along, I don't feel like it necessarily holds up my belly or supports my belly. But the point of this is you don't have to buy maternity pants. Maternity pants aren't cheap, they aren't cute, and you don't wear them that long. So why do I want to buy them when I can just have this? Um, this basically has a silicone little band right here and it grips onto your jeans. So you put this on, this part of it is doesn't have the silicone on the inside, but this sits on the top of your belly and the silicone is at the bottom, and you put it over your pants. You don't need your pants to be zipped up or buttoned, and it holds them in place. My pants never sag, never nothing. It is insanely comfortable. No matter which way you bend, move around, anything, it stretches with you. So it kind of feels like you're wearing maternity pants when you're wearing your own pants, you know? You, and you don't have to buy new pants and you still have your cute, comfortable pants that go with everything. I use this with leggings because now that my belly is bigger, when I pull my leggings up high, you can see the band. And so when I put this over, it kind of masks it a little bit. Um, I wear this with my work pants at work. I wear this with my jeans. This is the most amazing invention ever and it doesn't roll down your belly like I know with some tight form-fitting tank tops it kind of rolls because of the fabric. This doesn't roll, this stays in place and this silicone doesn't go anywhere. It's like right when it holds on to your pants it really just holds on and doesn't go anywhere. But um, they have this in different colors, they have it in white, nude, and black. It just looks like an undershirt when you wear it, you know, like you're wearing a tank top underneath. So um, I absolutely love this and couldn't recommend it enough. All right, guys, so that was my pregnancy must-haves video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it's not all this stuff is kind of normal stuff, but that's the point of it. If, if it should be something that you can find in every video, then why make another one, you know? So I did kind of want to go ahead and mention some things that aren't in a lot of these videos but that I feel like that you need and I really hope that I hope some of you mommies out there if you have any of these products or anything else you recommend please put it in the comment bar for other mamas and for myself I still have five weeks left but I will use anything if it helps <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye and it's heavy it's like uh.